What's up everyone and welcome back to Werewolf Wolfie. My name is Wolfie and today we're going to be taking a look at this Sonic Annual 2019 featuring this character. Who, who, who's this? Let's find out. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what is a Sonic Annual? And I'm here to answer that. That is a paperback that came out just uh, to celebrate a whole year of the book of the comic release and it hasn't been cancelled yet so that's good. Uh, these are a bunch of self-contained mini stories like a bunch of one-off stories featuring characters you may or may not know. Uh, they are canon so there aren't like side stories that don't mean anything. There are kind of side stories that build on what we know and kind of explain a few things what characters are doing what their motivations are and such uh you could pick this up for 7.99 as you can see here i've picked this one up my big fingers blocking my way my big meaty sausages here uh this is 7.99 and that's because this is 40 pages it is quite quite big for a uh for a book um as you can see i got cover b featuring this brand new character uh, who I will go ahead and explain about as we flip through and I will explain to you guys uh, Basically summarize a couple of the stories that happen in this and tell you what I liked what I didn't like then I'll give it a score I'm gonna cover these stories one at a time. So maybe this will be part one part two part three uh, Depending on how long these videos are. I don't want to make them too long uh, That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and open this now. I'm gonna hard cut fast forward to me actually reading this thing and uh, We'll get the review started Okay, so I've opened the book, I've laid it out front here, uh, I've already read through it, but I'm going to keep it open so I can kind of reference it right here, uh, while I go over and review and summarize the story of this book. Well, at least one of the stories. The first story is a precursor, a prequel to the Tangle and Whisper comic coming out soon, even though there already is a Tangle and Whisper prequel. So I guess this is a prequel to the prequel, but anyway, our book starts off with Tangle, Elated. God, Tangle is, she is adorable. I'm not gonna lie. She's just so happy. So damn happy. How can you, how can you not love a character that's just this bouncy and happy? But it begins with Tangle, elated to see that Whisper has come to her town, which is called Spiral Hill Village. I'm finally getting some names of these towns now. Uh, Whisper, of course, comes in and she's like, you know, she's still doing the thing with her text box being kind of, uh, drawn out to more or less imply that she's whispering. She's like, hello. You know, and it's like, Tangle's all hugging on her. It feels like progress is our last adventure. It's gonna be so great. I'm, you know, it's so cool to have you over when we're not being bombarded. And then immediately after the next panel, Whisper's kind of pushing her off like, hey, I get you're excited to see me, but uh, personal space. And Tangle's like, oops, my bad. Right, I forgot about the boundaries. So immediately right off the bat we see the dynamic between these two tangle we already know for those of you who don't know tangle is a lemur who uses her tail as like a sort of hand like you know bayonetta how her hair can like turn into these wicked weaves like giant fists and feet and stuff like that to hit her opponents that's pretty much tangle but with her tail uh she's very bouncy very happy go lucky extremely just She's smiling all the time. She's got these goofy expressions. I really love Tangle. And Whisper is the polar opposite of that, where she is a wolf who uses a, a wisp on weapon. Looks like he's kind of sniper, like Sniper Wolf from Metal Gear Solid. Um, she's very quiet, very uh, kind of withdrawn, aloof. She doesn't say much. She kind of speaks in like one word sentences that are implied to be whispers, hence her name Whisper. Her eyes are always closed. She kind of just seems, uh, she's a really cool design. Um, I love Whisper as well, but Tangle just edges her out by this much for me, anyway. But that's completely off the point. We got our two character dynamics here. Whisper's kind of hands-offy, uh, and Tangle's just all over the place. This is gonna be a very strange dynamic, yet very fun group to explore. This is a little friendship they're building here. Anyway, Tangle gives uh, Whisper a tour of, of the town. It shows her the bakery, shows her a, uh, what was it? The, uh, um, goes to a salon, shows her that, you know, hey, this is where I get my hair cut. You see all these cool looking characters in the background. Background characters. Tangle says more or less that I go through so many combs that everybody knows me here. Um, and finally, the, she gets to a big building that looks like a museum. It's called, it's, she calls it a mineral, a mineral museum. And she's like, let me introduce you to someone I know inside. And that's when we're introduced to another new character, Jewel, the beetle. The, the one on the cover that's up 
there. Uh, yo, the cover should be up here. But yeah, Jewel is apparently a beetle. I honestly would not have been able to tell based on looking at her. She definitely has insect features, but I would not have guessed the, a beetle. Uh, she's very fluorescent, very shiny looking, and that will come into play later. But be patient, guys. I'm getting there. Uh, Tangle introduces Whisper to Jewel, and Jewel more or less explains her backstory. She's kind of Tangle's wingman, the Tales to, the Tales to Tangle Sonic, and it kind of flashes back to that. Jewel apparently has the ability to fly. She's a beetle, has the wings and everything, and she's apparently helped Tangle throughout her youth. And they grew up together in this town. But Jewel runs this museum of minerals. These valuable miscellaneous jewels. Which I'm kind of curious if there might be some other jewels that might show up there. Like the Phantom Ruby eventually. Or maybe something else that's very valuable. We don't know yet. But Jewel kind of introduces herself. You know, it's, explains how, you know, she watched out for Tangle during their youth. And, uh... All of a sudden, it gets extremely dark outside, and Tangle kind of references that like, Oh, that's weird, I was expecting clouds. All of a sudden, Whisper puts the mask on, takes out her weapon, and Tangle's like, What are you doing? And then Whisper's like, Heard a scream. Boom! The door flies open. All of a sudden, who are showing up, are showing up, I'm so excited, my grammar went bad. Who shows up in those silhouettes, but... The Babylon Rogues. I was not expecting to see the Babylon Rogues in this comic book at all, but wow! Bursting into the scene, and literally, is Wave, Jet, and uh, Storm all coming in. Of course, being what they are, they are going to steal and rob and loot this mineral museum. Basically, they come in flinging all the jewels, grabbing everything on their extreme gear, just flying through the museum, grabbing everything they can in these big satchel bags. And, uh... As, uh, before they leave, Storm is about to make off with, you know, one more hot handful, and he looks over and notices, oh, these giant, this giant fluorescent looking jewel. Of course, that jewel turns out to be Jewel. Wow, try saying that five times fast. So, thinking that Jewel is a valuable shiny, he picks her up and grabs her, picks her, uh, basically kidnaps her. Without even knowing it, he just, he assumes she's just a precious rock or stone or whatever. And just like that, in like a flash, like in and out, the Babylon Rogues all fly up to their special airship blimp and uh, leave Tangle and Whisper in the dust. So Tangle, of course, is very upset because Jewel just got kidnapped and that's her friend. So Whisper has the great idea. Oh, by the way, just how about launch us. So... Tangle snaps into action with her tail, uses her tail as a catapult, and flings both herself and Whisper up to the ship. But right before they lose balance, or right before they lose momentum, because of course they're gonna lose momentum and the blimp is taken off, uh, Whisper reaches back with her weapon and goes, BURST! And then, <laughs> you know, the sonic colors, BURST! And just kinda, BADOOM! Shoots themselves up into the blimp where they are able to catch up. Meanwhile, on so on in the blimp, we see that the Babylon Rogues are celebrating their little haul from the Mineral Museum. Wave is like, ah, who knew a small town like that had so many precious stones? And Jet, of course, I'm gonna do my Jet voice, he's like, <laughs> whatever, as long as it keeps my gear in top shape. I love, I love Jet's old school scumbag voice, so I know he doesn't sound like that anymore, but to me, he will always sound like that. Then Storm reaches in, and he's like, Hey boss, look at this! I found something real cool! And then Jewel kind of like, Can you let me go? And then that's when the freakout happens. Wave is like, Storm, you moron! You kidnapped somebody! And that's when Tangle and Whisper pop in into the scene. That's not just anybody. That's my friend. Now let, him, let, her, let her go before I start busting some beaks. And Jet's, of course, is that so? Well, too bad. Finders keepers. You want her back so much? Then how about we race for her? Jet. Man. I got I gotta level with you, Jet. You kidnapped somebody. This is no time for a race. You did a bad thing. Stealing is one thing, but kidnapping is another. By the way, Wave says that exact same thing. Jet's like, oh, uh, uh, Wave is like, Jet, are you out of your mind? We're thieves, not kidnappers. Just let her go. And then Jed, of course, has to retaliate. They're, of course, going at each other's throats the whole time. Jed responds back, Back off, Wave! Storm made us look incompetent! We have to save face! And then Storm's like, But wouldn't a talking gem be worth more? And that's, of course, when Jewel's like, I'm a beetle. And anyway, 
As as Wave and Jet are arguing back and forth, Tango just kind of with her tail, kind of just whips her tail in front of them, grabs the statues of stolen uh, minerals that from the museum, and kind of grabs them without them being any the wiser. Wave, of course, retaliates back with. We go back to the argument, and Wave retaliates back. If you're so worried about saving face, then why are you why are you spending time bickering in front of these guys? And then Jet's like, ah, fine, just toss him out. Whatever you say, boss. And then Storm, oh god, Storm is like, he's so dumb. It's like, it's like Big, if he was dumb, strong, and a little bit malicious. But not malicious on purpose, just like, he messes up in these horrible ways. He kidnaps somebody, and then he does this. He throws Jewel as hard as he can. And as he throws her out, she clips the end. She clips the doorway, which looks like it cracks her wing. Ouch! And she starts falling. Whisper sees Jewel falling, and it actually has a spoken word of dialogue. Without the whisper, she says, "Not again!" Like in speak, the real text box, not with the little dots around it. And jumps out after Jewel. And then uh, Jet and Jet, Jet and Wave are just looking like at Storm, like really. What, what, like, what, what would, what would make you do that? And of course, uh, <laughs> Tangle's like, no, don't worry about it. We got this. And before she jumps out, she's basically like, don't ever do that again, or I will come back personally and deal with all three of you. She jumps off, bungee style with her tail, and we see, like, the Babylon Rose looking at her like, she just jump off the, the, the blimp? And then they see that her tail is, of course, carrying the stolen merchandise, which is now... Restolen, or I guess going back to where it belongs with Tangle, and then we flash back to Whisper grabbing onto uh, Jewel as she's falling, and then Tangle grabs onto Whisper, so it's like a rescue of a rescue. And then Tangle's like, I hope you have a plan because we're kind of just falling to our dooms now. But of course, Whisper, she's intelligent, quiet, aloof, and intelligent, just how I like him. And hover. Uses her wisp bomb weapon to hover themselves gracefully and slowly back to the village where they land safely and start going back to work. And it flashes forward to later. We see Whisper and Tangle helping Jewel clean up the busted up museum. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the story kind of ends with uh, Jewel thanking Whisper for her help. And then Tangle's like, What are friends for? Am I right? And Whisper's like, what are friends for? And they kind of have like this little moment of like a fist bump. And it's like, aww, this group dynamic is great. I have no idea who Jewel is, but now I know. And now you know too. Jewel is a beetle, and I guess going to be the third character in this slowly growing side character, this Sonic side character story, which I'm really liking so far. I like it that it had between Tangle and Whisper. Jewel looks like she could, of course, be the... She's going to have some sort of important role to play later. I have a feeling... Her mineral museum knowledge is going to come into play later. Maybe searching for Chaos Emeralds, or finding the Phantom Ruby, or some other precious stone. Who knows, maybe even she might have a backstory with Dr. Starline and how he got that teleportation uh, Julie has in his hand glove thing. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling this is all going to come into play later, guys. Um, that is the first story of the Sonic Annual 2019. I liked it a lot. I love this little story, but wait... Yes, yes. I love this little story so far. I'm like, I can't wait to see what the Tangle and Whisper story builds up to. I wonder if Tangle and Whisper are going to have their own set of villains to deal with. I, it's going to be like three books, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, or I'll just correct myself over on this side. I know I'm going to correct myself. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be a great series of comics. Um, I would, based on the first story alone, it's definitely worth a look-see. You get a little bit, you get a cool, the artwork of course in this one was, is well, everything about this one book is done well. I like the fan service, not fan service like that, get your minds out the gutter y'all. Don't want to get this video demonetized because we keep it family friendly here, for the most part. Uh, the artwork, let me look at the art, was, let's see, art by Jennifer Hernandez, of course, and written by Ian Flynn. So yeah, this is, uh, this is really good, the art is so good in this. And the writing itself is really good. I, I'm just, I'm a fan of these characters and I can't wait to see more of them. 
the fact that the Babylon Rogues are back gives me hope that we're gonna start seeing even more of the Sonic characters from the game start slowly slipping back in. But what a great way to have them kind of intermingle with Tangle and Whisper, right? Like, of course they would kind of be doing their thievery stuff, and I'm glad to see them again. Yet still, the, still the extreme gear riding selfish scumbag that I know and love. It's great. This is going to be a fun series of comics, and uh, I give this particular story a 8.9... Mm. You know what I really think it is that I, that made me love this comic? I think it's... I think it's... I think it's uh, it's Jennifer's artwork. It really makes the story just like every single panel is like someone's making a cute expression, or there's just so much action, and it just re looks everything looks good in this. And it also helps with the story itself, while short and kind of you know I won't say fillerish introduces us to the characters, and I look forward to more stories when they kind of delve deeper into what they're going to be doing. But either way, they got the characters right, too. Like, the Babylon Rose, Jet, Wave, and Storm kind of act the way I would expect them to in-game, in the comics. So, I'm hoping eventually we'll get Tangle and Whisper in the games, too. I know it's a long shot, and I know the whole second mandates. We probably won't see it, but a man can dream. Yeah, I'm going to give this one an 8.9 out of 10. Very good. Highly recommended read. Uh, in this book, pick this if you, pick this up if you can. The Sonic the Hedgehog Annual 2019. I'll be covering the other stories in this book throughout the upcoming days and or weeks, depending on when I can get these videos edited down. Thank you all so very much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this book. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you feel mad about it? Let me know what you guys think about this whole. What do you think with Whisper? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention Whisper had a very strong response to. Uh, to Jewel falling, to being thrown off that, off that, uh, uh, the blimp. And I was like, there's something there. Maybe Whisper lost someone as a result of someone or something tossing her friend or a beloved one or a family member off of something and she wasn't able to save them. Because she said not again when that happened. I'm like, hmm, big hints to her backstory right there. Could it have been Shadow that did that? Or an illusion of Shadow? Or a Shadow robot? Or maybe Shadow himself maybe did something to her family or something. We don't know, but I'm 100% I'm sure Shadow or some form of Shadow, whether it was illusion, robot, clone, what have you, or himself did something to her family member through her, through her family or friend or someone close to her. Maybe a beloved boyfriend, husband, we don't know. Off. Oh, and they passed away and they died because of it. But yeah, right? the story, the plot thickens, y'all, and I can't wait to get another taste. Not like that, get your minds out the gutter. I can't wait to get another look into this story, and we're going to with this. I have Tangle and Whisper. I, I went on a shopping spree of my comic store. Tangle and Whisper, issue number zero. I will open this up, and maybe this will be the next comic we look over. It's very, very thin and very, very small, so it's not going to be much in there, but I'm hoping there's something to help me quench my thirst for more Tangle and Whisper goodness! That's going to be it for me today, though, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the Were Werewolf Wolfie channel for more. If you liked what you saw here, I do more videos like this. I do more videos like this coming soon. Wow, my me grammar is going great today. Uh, and don't forget to hit the bell. Uh, so you're notified when videos and go live and when we're live streaming. Team Sonic Racing is this week, guys. Look forward to videos and streams of that. It's going to be fun. I'll see you all next time, guys. So stay tuned. <laughs>